Chicago on the Neuro Exercise League out here. And today I'm going to be doing kickboxing agility class. But before we get to that, I am going to thank the Parkinson's Foundation for letting us be part of this. And I'm super excited to be here. We're going to jump right into the exercise review. We have four different focuses today. Um, the first three are going to be building blocks for the last part. So in order to really move and, and move quickly through the routine here, you're going to have to learn a couple of things. So we have to learn proper stance. Uh, we have to learn the numbering system for our punches and our strikes. And then we're going to incorporate some footwork as well as some lower body striking into this. So it's pretty complex and it's got multiple layers. So we're going to take it slow for the first three rounds, and then the last round is going to be the more workout, fast-paced, action part of it. It's going to be a lot of fun, and there's going to be a lot of learning, and it's going to get your heart rate, which is very, very important. So let's get started. The first round It's going to focus on warming up and learning our stance and our footwork. Okay, so let's find our boxing stance or fighting stance. We're going to start with one leg back, it could be the left, it could be the right, and a nice broad stance. Okay, boxers stand like this for stability. In order to throw a punch well and take a punch well, you have to be stable. Okay, if you're unstable and your feet are close together, it's really easy to fall over, and it's really hard to throw a nice hard punch. We do that. And we gotta learn how to move in this stance. So let's first find our stance. Oh, before I continue on, I have two markers here. They're about six to eight feet apart. Uh, these are going to serve as our cones for when we do our agility work. Okay, so find anything you need. It could be shoes, it could be some markers. Maybe you have cones, put cones down. Uh, just two things about six to eight feet apart. And if you need to, pause the video, go find something, and then we'll get started. All right, so let's start by learning how to move in our steps. We're going to have our hands up. At all times, boxers always have their hands up. Okay, we're here, and we're going to move forward and backwards. We're going to do this drill for about a minute. Okay, so we're going to move in our boxer shuffle, as I call it. I lift that foot, that front foot, and move. And you can see, as I go backwards, I lift the back foot first. I go from a position of good stability to a position of higher stability. The wider my stance is, the more stable it is. We're moving now. We're moving about 15 seconds in. I'm going to be moving fast because there's a lot to get through in this 30 or 40 minute video. So we're going to lift and step. Lift and step. Don't worry, we're going to do this twice. If you think I'm moving too fast. Keep on going. We're going to go 20 more seconds here. Especially for our punches. 
That's how we develop powder. Keep rotating. We've got 30 seconds. So remember, when we throw these punches, we want to rotate our body. We're going to push off that ground, use our core to propel the punch. We don't want to punch with our arms. Four, 
right? It's gonna seal that into your brain. It's also, it's a part of dual tasking. We're moving around, we're keeping our hands up, we're throwing punches, we gotta remember to pull those hands in. All right, those are our threes and fours, our hooks. Big rotation on those. Last group punches, our uppercuts. Our uppercuts, I always tell people we're gonna reach down into the pocket and we get tall, okay? Our lead uppercut is our five, our backhand uppercut is our six. So five and six, 30 seconds. Let's wait for that timer to get set up in three, two, one, hands up. Five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, fifteen seconds, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, and six. All right, let's go through them again. Okay, ones and twos are straight punches. Remember, our one is our jab, straight punch, with our lead hand. Our two is our cross, which is a rear straight. Okay, hands up in three, two, one. Ones and twos, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Remember, pull those hands back to your face. Keep your hands up, one. Two and rotate, especially on that two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, and two. Good job. Hooks, threes and fours. Our lead hook or our front hook is our three. Our rear hook is our four. Backhand, okay? Our backhand hook. Hands up in three. And two. And one, three, four, 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 fifteen seconds. Boom, boom. Use a nice loud voice. If you're not saying the numbers, just make a noise.
just by controlling the exhale. Long, drawn out exhales. And grab some water. I'm going to grab some water, and then we'll get back into it.
Good job, everyone. So, what we learned so far, stance, twisting to develop punching power, our one through six numbering system, and how to incorporate knees into that. Okay, there's so a lot of things learned before we can really start training through this workout. But, we're going to start doing that. We're going to add, for this next segment, we're going to do a faster pace version utilizing all those aspects. Um, one thing that I did not mention is we learned how to move in our boxing stance as well. So, we're going to start with a boxing combination, move into agility exercise, which is moving around quickly, and then our kickboxing sequence. So, a boxing sequence, agility footwork, and then a kickboxing sequence. But, before that, let's grab some water. so far. So now we're going to start with our boxing sequence. Hands only, no knees. So another thing is you got to know what context, what system you're in. I love doing this with my, my clients because it really challenges them to focus and be engaged. If they don't know what system we're currently working on, uh, then uh, well, I might get mean, first of all. <laughs> but uh, it, it's just another layer of engagement and focus, which helps us maintain our brain function. Okay, so we're gonna start, we're gonna start in a, in going forward to back, forward to back in our, in our boxing system. So we're in our boxing stance. We're just gonna do a simple one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Forward shuffle. One, two, three, four. Backward shuffle, okay? And then we repeat that sequence. So we're gonna get started in, in three, in two, in one, hands up. This is our one, two, three, four, shuffle. One, two, three, four, back shuffle. Remember, don't cross over, don't let your stance get narrow. One, two, three, four. We're gonna stay in this for about a minute. One, two, three, four. And if you wanna pick it up, pick it up. Want to slow it down? Slow it down. One, two, three, four. But only focus on that technique. One, two, three, four. But if you got it down, move a little faster. One, two, three, four. 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 Ten seconds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Time. Let's go into our agility drill. Okay, our agility drill, we're just going to go forward and backward between our two markers. Remember at the beginning of the video, we laid out two markers. We're running forward and backward. Okay, just get to that line and go back. We're going. Get started, guys. Go, 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 go. One minute here. Remember to go fast. Shh, shh. I mean, you can go slow and just walk it. Okay, because the cognitive is just as important. Not that this exercise is super cognitive, but for the other things, you don't have to go fast to get a better. You have to learn the movements before you can really utilize them in a cardiovascular way. Checking the timer there, we got about 20 seconds. Forward and backwards. I'm going to get my heart rate up. I'm going to get my workout rate up. Keep it up, everyone. Uh, 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time. Kickboxing sequence. All right, with the knees. Kickboxing with the knees. We're going to go lateral. We're going to go lateral. We're going to start here. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna start with a double six, or not a double six, a six, five, six, right? Six, five, six, lean back, lead me. Okay? So that's a rear uppercut, front uppercut, let's do another rear uppercut, and then opposite to this uppercut, that means six, five, six, knee, in three, in two, in one, oh, and then followed by the side shuffle. So six, five, 
six, knee. Shut up, push up, push up. And get started. Go. Six, five, six, knee. Six, five, six, knee. Side to side. Six, five, six, knee. 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 We're going to stay there about 20 seconds. Six, knee. Don't cross over and keep those hands up. If you're wondering if I'm tired, answer yes. Six, five, six, knee. Job. Take a deep breath, grab some water if you need it. We're going to do one more round at this pace. One more round. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in. All right, we're going into our boxing sequence. No knees, hands only. Okay, we're going to do a side stepping after the combination. And the combination is going to be one, two, three. Side step. And then three, two, one, side step. <coughs> so one, two, three, wherever you start, and then three, two, one on the opposite side. So and three, and two, and one, one, two, three, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. One, two, three, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Remember, go like your pace. If you can go faster, you can go faster. If you can't, slow it down. It's okay. Learn the movements. One, two, three. Four, 
Have a good weekend, and I'll see you next time.